saw what you did. Ha! I'll fix him. That charm grinder. Uh, that's all of them, sir. Honestly, I swear. How many times are you pair going to keep pilfering my shop? I swear it was just so. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. Well done. You certainly know what you were doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right. I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here. You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. That sounds straightforward enough. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. There she is, above us. She did make it home safely. Oh, good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. Revelia. Is worth. She doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Let's hope it stays that way. At least until we've done what we came to do. usually. Ah, there she is again. She's breathtaking. From a distance.
wonder how good her eyesight is. I beg your pardon? I don't imagine the poachers fed her well. And from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Hebrideans love sheep. How lucky for us. <laughs> Watch your step. Pity. She must have been starved to pick off a grap horn. Or just raring for a fight. She'd still be able to smell you. Watch out! It's her domain. She'll make sure we know it. Warm welcome. It's a little too warm if you ask me. Uh, I don't suppose you'd listen to reason. Uh. I'd normally try, but we're well past that. Prepare. Now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss.
That was brilliant. And did you see how clever? She left us perfectly unharmed. Creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize. That's what Gran always says. The important thing is that we survived it. And we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. Wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. Shall we head back? I'm ready if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. How could I have been so blind? New instruments are expensive, you know. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. What do you want? Let us keep our heads above. 
about this? No, I'm, I'm truly sorry. I, I just... A Dedalian key. Wonder where it might lead me. Revelio. Off on another adventure, are we? We stayed up almost the entire night here. Hello there. Hello, Amit. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course. How exciting. I mean, well, might this be dangerous? I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. Have you ever spoken directly to a goblin? Unbelievably, no. I'm so looking forward to it. Actually conversing in gobbledygook with a native speaker. Cannot wait to confirm subtle bits of pronunciation and tone that may have eluded me. Being self-taught and all. You said you know gobbledygook, but how well? I've been reading it for as long as I've been reading English. My parents have an extensive library. Once I grew bored with the classics, I devoured goblin writings. I'd tell you some titles, but you wouldn't understand them. Lodgok is waiting. Shall we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. Revelio. Thank you for being willing to help me, Amit. You are very welcome. I'm looking forward to meeting your friend, Lodgok.
Lodgok is waiting. Shall we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there.
friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here. Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the Helmet of Earthgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. You said this would repair the chasm between the two of you. How did you not expect him to react this way? I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They described repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. Rookwood Castle? That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he... Here comes my friend Amit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bagalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I, um, well, yes. Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodgok. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen either by the eye above the enchanted door, or a loitering loyalist. What else should we know about the enchanted door? The door will not open while the eye can see you. You and your friend must be invisible to it to gain access. From what I know of wizard magic, that shouldn't be too difficult to achieve. Amit and I can do this. I will await your return. I shall see you soon. sneaking about. You'll see. The door is looking at us. Books so rarely prepare one for reality. A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected.
I cannot believe I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this lift. Impressive workmanship for so simple a device. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. These machines operate on steam. Interesting. I've read about minds like this, but seeing one is something else altogether. Hamid, you'll need to stay close to me. I've dealt with worse enemies than these. Yes, of course. Who's it? No quiet in cut. That was a little more than I'm used to. I'll get us through here safely, Amit. You have my word. We're being watched by a door. like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. Let's take a look around, Amit. See if we can find any plans. A schematic? Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lodgok empty-headed. Revelia. Seen, do we? Fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. The flourishes are extraordinary. There must be more notes around here. What could they be building? Revelio. If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. But what? 
I will get to the bottom of what they've been building down here. They're building something rather large. But what? Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lodgok empty-headed. Only I could get my hands on Fig or that student. Was. Another boiler. This place is more complex than I had expected. Another schematic. What are they going to build? This mine is too small for whatever it is. There must be more nodes around here. What could they be building? in someone else's direction if you don't mind.
be the last of them on it. This is not good. They're building enormous drills, bigger than this mine could contain. Let's get out of here and tell Lord Gok what we found. my breath. This was more than I bargained for. I'm glad you came with me, Amit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. We're almost out of here, Amit. Look, the lift. Welcome sight indeed.
cuidar. Can we please talk about... That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lord Gok. Understood? I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me. But I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Without further ado, at you. Pavelio. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead, she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal, but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research, and I know of the container. Ah. The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill... It caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch, and I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it, but I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lord Gog, for telling me this. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals. But the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor, at some point, built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl.
hope Professor Fitzgerald has confirmed what she needed to. I have to complete the next trial as soon as I can. Yes. 